we'll be starting with your past. We have the will of fortune. Now it was possible that a relationship needed to be re renegotiated or was possibly no longer going to suit your needs. This did not mean that if you were in a committed relationship that was doomed, but only that you would have needed to take action to make sure that it makes it. Talk about how you were feeling that was your best hope. If you were looking for a relationship, you first got very, very clear on exactly who you were looking for. Then you got out and mingled, whether that was online or by allowing friends to introduce you to someone that might fit the bill. This card is paired with the Knight of Pentacles. So with the Knight of Pentacles, when it comes to love, this card points to responsibility and duty that is a part of any love relationship. Love is not always wine and roses. True love is willingness to work together to get through any rough spots and to work on the relationship. How well were you meeting your responsibilities? That would have been the question. So if you were looking for love, and this card appeared, which it is, it was a clear signal that you needed to vary or, ch vary or change up your routine and try new things if you wanted to meet someone new. Okay, your usual search left something or very little to be desired. Okay, and that's in your past. Now we move on to the present and we start with the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands When this card appears, you may meet someone new through your work. This person is likely to have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it doesn't have to mean that. It could go the opposite way, okay? Just keep that in mind. So if you're already committed, be sure that your communication is as clear as it can be. Make a point to make time to just talk to each other, this will improve your feelings of closeness substantially. And this card is paired with the Four of Swords. Now if you take a good look at this card, it's a good indication that it a, it's a good indication showing that you may be feeling a bit disconnected. It's appearing to let your part, your partner, I'm sorry, it's very important to let your partner know what's going on inside. But remember that your feelings are your own. It is not necessarily their job to make you feel fabulous all the time. So it may be that you simply need some time apart. So don't hesitate to take it. If you're feeling or if you're looking for love now, now is not the time, now is not the time to push. You'd be better off getting very, very specific about exactly what you're looking for in a relationship. The time will come when you will meet someone. That time is probably not now. Okay? And once again, that's your present and with these two cards paired together it's letting you know that you could be meeting someone new and it's most likely someone at your workplace most likely but it doesn't have to be 
Now this card is paired with the Four of Swords. And if you're feeling disconnected, just remember, if there is someone coming along, like the Knight of Wands saying there is, make sure that uh, you communicate. Share your feelings, okay? Uh, because they can't read your mind. That's what the Four of Swords is saying. You need to share your feelings. And if you need to take time apart when you meet this new person, do not hesitate to take it because it could be just something that you need right now. Don't hesitate to take it. If you're looking for love, then just don't push it. Okay? And that's in the present. Now we move on to the challenge and we start with the Nine of Pentacles. So the challenge in the, in the Nine of Pentacles, if you look at this card, it's pretty much, you can pretty much see if you're, it's showing that if you're currently committed you can expect the relationship to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. If you're unattached and looking, this card is showing that someone new has what it takes to be a new, meaningful, deep love. Could be headed your way very soon. So smile. The world loves a happy person. And this card is paired with the Two of Swords, which is a good card romantically, especially for a romance that is already in existence. This card can very easily signify that your relationship will move into a lighter, easier, more balanced phase with treating each other as equals playing a major role. So if you're looking for love take a good hard look at yourself to see if you have any outstanding emotional issues that need to be dealt with first people can smell desperation a mile away and it's a major turn off a, a life partner does not complete you a life partner is icing on the cake of your own complete life so make sure do not look outside yourself for happiness. Then the relationship you truly want and need will come. With these two cards paired together, it's pretty much saying that uh, a relationship could rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. It's paired with the two of swords. That so it's letting you know that new heights of intimacy and joy is letting you know that um, just go ahead and enjoy it and if you have any outstanding emotional issues that need to be dealt with take a good hard look at yourself and try to work on that first because you're, you're really in a good time for a good relationship with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, and that's going to be your challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. Starting with the Judgment card. Now the Judgment card, it shows that this can be a make it or break it period. Make or break period. This is a time to get very clear about what you want out of life and out of your relationships and then take steps to make it come about. So if you are seeking new love, if you're seeking love, a new relationship may come about in the near future, but you may need to take steps to make sure that you aren't leaping to conclusions positive or negative about your new love and or vice versa just remember that slow and steady wins the race 
And then we have this card paired with the Seven of Swords. Now with the Seven of Swords, you can clearly see it's about, it's a clear message about trust. Trust is very crucial. If you're feeling suspicious for some reason about your partner, make it a point to talk about this even if it's difficult. Being passive, aggressive is only going to make things worse. If you're looking for love, you may meet someone interesting now, but try to avoid appearing as though you just aren't interested in a relationship. Prospective suitors will move on to someone who is more engaging, so strive for balance. And with these two cards paired together, the judgment card is letting you know that it's a make it or break it period, okay? And then it's paired with the Seven of Swords. So this make it or break it period is letting you know that you need to try to avoid appearing as though you're just not interested in a relationship because people will move on to someone who's more engaging, okay? And that's going to be your outcome. So Aries, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. But then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. I thank you so much for watching and have a great day.